Today I'd like to discuss what might be the most famous YouTube video ever created, one that little kids as well as their great grandparents have heard of. This of course is the 2012 hit Gangnam Style. This little K-pop song performed by the singer Sai had become one of the biggest things on the entire planet, catapulting him to becoming one of the biggest names in the world. But then after people listened to the song about a thousand times, he sort of just disappeared. So what happened? Before answering that though, let's back up a bit to understand how this goofy song was able to become the most viewed video on all of YouTube. No other song in the site's history up to that point had even come close to hitting 1 billion views. But this did. So why did this random Korean song become the biggest thing the site's ever seen? Well to answer that, I think it comes down to three points. Number one, it was in a foreign language. Now you may be asking how it not being in English was a benefit. Well, this song was able to transcend language barriers, since it didn't really matter what he was saying. Unless you spoke Korean, everyone across the globe was on an even playing field for understanding what this song was about. While Americans generally ignore anything that's not in English, this song was an exception, putting this in a perfect position to take off. Number two, it was accessible. There's nothing too inappropriate about the song Gangnam Style, and people from all walks of life enjoyed it. So every single mainstream news and talk show picked up the song for segments. Sai became a household name to even older people that don't go on YouTube because he showed up on traditional television. This meant even your great grandmother knew who Sai was. Number three, it's simply a catchy song with an entertaining music video. I remember watching it when it only had around 300,000 views after it first came out and had it stuck in the back of my head. Until a few days later when my brother was watching it and I started thinking about it even more. Then by the time the mainstream media picked up on Gangnam Style, it was engraved in my memory. This allowed a perfect storm where people from all ages, genders, nationalities, and races watched this video, leading to it receiving 1 billion views. Of course, with all this popularity, it did lead to some downsides, including all the Gangnam Style parodies on YouTube. Oh man. That's easily one of the top five worst trends in YouTube history. Every single person on earth decided that they needed to make their own parody of this song, and it's some of the worst content YouTube has ever offered. Put the condom on! Condom on! Change in the weather so it will become climate. We gotta adjust the planet for our monkeys and the primate. All we need is about three effects to change the process, and our planet can totally afford this. You know who hang out with there? In the kitchen every day, we really like it here. We do? We're having fun times every day, even squash is here. Marshmallow is really happy with this teddy bear. His evil teddy bear. With this non-stop stream of Gundam style, something new had to happen. And of course, Sai's plan was to come out with a new video that would try to follow along in his last song's footsteps. That song would be called Gentleman, and yeah, it's what you'd expect. In it, there are some callbacks to Gundam style, and it is catchy. But the thing is, they didn't have a chance of doing anything that could successfully follow up Gundam style. The fame that last song brought him was unprecedented, so even though it was a good follow-up, it didn't come close to matching the last song. Even though it had no chance of becoming as big as Gangnam Style, it did receive a lot of views from people interested to see what he would do next. And most of those mainstream talk shows that brought up Gangnam Style also brought up this new video. So it was pretty popular. The last time though I remember hearing about Psy in any sort of mainstream way was in 2014. This is when he collaborated with Snoop Dogg to make Hangover, which many including myself just didn't like at all. 
Now, I'm not a professional music critic by any stretch of the imagination, but the entire project just seems, I don't know, a bit annoying. Unlike Psy's previous projects, this song was in English and Snoop Dogg's contribution just seemed unnecessary. I have no idea what they were thinking when they created this song, but my best guess is they were hoping that since it was in English and had a popular American musician in it, that it would get some American Top 40 play out of the entire ordeal. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way, and it just was kind of a failure. Although, to be fair, it did still get a lot of views, but at that point in time, anything Psy did was going to get a decent amount. In conclusion, looking at his channel now, it seems that he went back to his K-pop roots, and it works for him with his videos still getting millions of views apiece. He's not quite dead per se, but his mainstream appeal is definitely gone. While he's nowhere near one of the top musicians in the entire world like he was back in 2012, he still holds a very important place in internet history. Oh, and before I finish today, do you know what recently beat out Gondam Style as the most viewed video in YouTube history? See You Again by Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, I don't get it either. There are also some greenhouse gases that we know, hey, which really blow, hey, 